Have you ever wondered how Christmas looks behind the grand doors of royal palaces? What unique traditions do the British royals follow during the festive season? Stay tuned as we unveil the royal Christmas secrets. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join our journey through the intriguing world of royalty. First up, let's talk about the pre-Christmas luncheon at Buckingham Palace. This event is a royal staple, where extended family members gather for a festive feast. It's a private affair, but we often catch glimpses of the family heading to the palace, sharing a bit of their holiday cheer with the world. Speaking of cheer, the royals don't just celebrate among themselves. Throughout the season, they host parties for various charities they support, spreading the joy and spirit of giving. But what about those personal touches? Well, the royal family sends out holiday cards each year, a tradition that used to see the Queen personally signing around 750 cards. Imagine the effort and love poured into each one of those. Now, let's journey to the Sandringham Estate, about 100 miles north of London. This is where the family usually spends their holidays, embracing both tradition and togetherness. However, recent years have seen them at Windsor, adapting to changing times. One of my favorite traditions involves Prince William and Prince Harry. They used to play a friendly game of football on Christmas Eve at Sandringham. It's a fun, lively way to kickstart the celebrations, but with Prince Harry now in the US, will this tradition continue? Only time will tell. The royal family's generosity extends beyond their gates. Every year, they donate to local charities in Windsor, and they also gift Christmas trees to several churches and schools. It's a beautiful gesture that highlights the spirit of the season. Now, imagine attending a black tie dinner on Christmas Eve. Yes, that's how the royals do it. In contrast to the common ugly sweater theme, they go all out with elegance and style. And guess what? The Queen's favorite cocktail, the Zaza, used to be a highlight of these dinners. Lastly, the royal Christmas decor is nothing short of magical. The family decorates multiple Christmas trees, a tradition that dates back to the 19th century. These aren't just any trees, they're adorned with charming ornaments, including some featuring the beloved Corgis. So, there you have it, a peek into the royal Christmas celebrations. Did you find these royal traditions as fascinating as we did? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more intriguing insights into the lives of the royals.